Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. This guy here in the peerless hat. Where the hell do you get all these bourbon hats? Is at Dustin. the distilleries. Hello. Good lord, man. I like distillery. <laughs> I like bourbon. He does like bourbon. I also like hats. What the fuck are you wearing? Never forget. Oh, that's from uh, uh, the, the Will Smith movie. Yeah. Yeah. All Independence right. Day. Independence Day. So this is. I'm key. a pop culture luddite. You're a pop culture whiz kid. <laughs> this is Keith. He's our pop culture whiz kid music guy, and that's why you're the pop culture guy because music. That's yeah. I'm just so there are like entire stretches of my life where I was doing things and stuff, and. Never had access to a TV or barely had access to a radio. Music. Like, there are stretches where the world was entertained by things and I knew nothing about them. And the radio was always playing in your head. Yeah, I got my own radio station. I'm good. <laughs> it explains a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to talk to you all about some bourbon and some country music that we don't know nothing about. Except, Except this is the one time that you we know. Hold on, hold off, hold off. Let's talk about the bourbon first, a little bit. Okay, I'm actually excited about this bourbon. What's that? This is a bourbon I know and I haven't had for at least a year. It's called Blade and Bow. Comes with a little key. And um, aren't all the keys different? So they have, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and now I'm going to die on channel. They have five different keys, okay. um, and they're kind of like the, the well, horses the on the top of the Blanton's bottles. Uh -huh. um, so I've got a collection of these keys hanging, probably 10 or 15 of them, hanging off what I call my, my forever bottle. Uh -huh. You know what? We've never talked about a forever bottle on the channel. Tell me what it means. So the idea is you get a decanter, right? A what? A decanter, a crystal or a glass. A decanter? Yeah. How's it said? Decanter. <laughs> okay. Y'all heard it, right? All right. Go, go ahead. What you do. <laughs> what you do here is you get you this get canter, you this fancy glass bottle. You get this canter. You could even reuse an uh, old bottle. You could do that. Um... And, you know, when, when your bottle gets down, you've, you've, you don't have a pour in there. You got a part of a pour in there. Well, what are you going to do with that? You pour it in your forever bottle. Yeah. And then go to your other bottle for your pour. And, yeah. And, and so what you do over time is you build up a blend of kind of a net, the net value of all your favorite bourbons. All right, I'm going to pour a still house into yours. Do not do that. Do not. Do, do. Sorry. I'll piss in yours if you do that. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's the same thing! That is not whiskey. <laughs> that, no. It might be Stop. sterile, though. I, it's gross. Fuck that shit. Anyway. Uh, now we're going to get a lot of views. So I... <laughs> I don't know where he's trying to take this channel, but I don't think I'm along for the ride. I do there's want this. Your key. I'll keep the key. Right. So uh, I, I'm actually looking forward to this. I really enjoy this bourbon, and it's mid-priced, you know, $50 or so. Okay, and they were sitting at, uh, so it is called Blade & Bow. Uh, it is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's done by Stitzer Weller. Okay. I didn't know that. Uh, it's 91 proof. I love this stuff. I haven't had it in a long time. I'm happy. What's the uh, what's the song that we both heard? Here we go. So um, we've actually this is a first. This is a we, BCR we, first. This is a first, and only we have actually reacted to this song before. We need to figure out what bourbon it was we reacted to because. Yeah, that went away too. Um, 
we uploaded this to YouTube, we scheduled it to drop, and we later decided to actually delete the entire reaction. First time ever. We, that's not something we do. No, because we... We don't edit, we don't, and... So, here's what I think we should do, you and I. Okay. This is a first for me, I'm hearing it for the first time too. It's possible that maybe we misinterpreted the last part of this song. So let's listen for that and see if we got it wrong. And see okay. what happens. Right. Open mind. Yeah, let's keep an open mind got for it. this second listen. Got it. And, and and see what happens. And it's been months since we listened to it, honestly. Months and months, yeah. So, so. so and, and here's part of why we're listening to it. Y'all keep requesting it. This is a super and, highly requested song. And I continue to track the requests. So this is top of the list, isn't it? It is. And which is why we're doing it. We got to give you what you want, but keep in mind, I, I, I got to warn you guys. We deleted the last one. We deleted the last one, and what you see is what you get with us. That's it. If you are here looking for someone to validate and say, we love the same song you love. You're in the wrong place. It may not happen. You're going to get an honest opinion. So kind of a warning, but we're keeping an open mind. I am. Yep. Um, may, maybe on our first listen, we, we just maybe missed we something. Drunk. Could have been. Could have been. I mean, we drank a lot of bourbon on the channel, so maybe. All right. Anyway, let's, let's check this out. Sugarland State. I've been sitting here staring at the clock on the wall I've been laying here praying praying she won't call it's just another call from home and you get in and be gone and I'll be crying
that weird? A little bit. What just video dramatic effect? But she stopped the boohoo. But she was still singing. The music was still going. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. I've given you my best. Why does she get the best of you? So the next time you find you wanna leave her bed for mine, why don't you stay? I'm up off my knees. I'm so tired of being lonely. You can't give me what I need When she begs you not to go There is one thing you should know I don't have to live this way Baby, why don't you So let, let, let's start by giving props where props are due. I like that idea a lot. So her performance was outstanding. It was, um, yes. It, it, it honestly felt like this was her story. She, yeah, she, she I, I, we have no idea. Right. But she performed it so well and she does have an amazing voice. God damn, she has a great voice. Um. She performed it so well that it's absolutely believable that she is talking about a current situation that she personally is in right now. Yep. That is a solid performance. When you can get that across, absolutely. it's a solid performance. Absolutely. Here's why we deleted this damn thing before. Hold on. Before you say it, I'm going to let you say it, but before you say it, y'all have been with us now for a little while. You understand the kind of guys that we are. You should understand why we take a, a problem, why we have a problem with this song. So the entirety of this song is intended to make you feel sympathy for the singer and the the, the author and the singer. You know, I, well, I'm in this... I'll pause you real quick. Yeah. There's a chance... Because this is a beautiful performance. There's a chance we're about to enlighten you all what this song actually means. So the intent of that song is to make you feel empathetic and feel sorry for this girl who's in uh, this awful position. Uh -huh. Except my problem is she fucking chose to be the other woman. Absolutely. She knew. She, she she continues to choose. She Noel at the end she let him go. Mm, no, she did. She said, "I don't have to." Li it was almost like an ultimatum. I don't have to live this way. You should still stay. Well, was well, she stay with his wife? Oh, that's what that was. So in the end, she got out. Okay, all right. And I did miss that the first time okay. through. I still I missed it the second time. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good point out. So in the end, she did get out, but that's no but, redemption for me. No, absolutely not. So she chose to be the other woman and... And begged uh, and pleaded. Begged and pleaded. Okay, he's a cheater. Yep. You want that shit? Listen, there's a lot of men and women out there that need to understand a critical and fundamental concept. If they cheated with you... They will cheat on oh. you. Mm -hmm. So we deleted this song because the Messy. subject material of it was so repulsive to us. And we were aware. We're supposed to feel sorry for her. Uh -huh. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no. Nope. 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 No. All the nopes. This, you guys are probably going to throw a bunch of hate at us for this. Sorry. But I do want you to know that we get her skill 
Mm-hmm. Because she delivered this song powerfully enough to piss us both off <laughs> right good. Right. <laughs> right? Right? That's true. That is 100% accurate. It's like, yes, it got our blood boiling. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Yeah, I'm yeah. in <laughs> Oh, smash. <laughs> Uh, so we are not in any way knocking her performance. Mm-hmm. It is objectively a stellar performance. It is extraordinarily effective because it affected us enough that we actually deleted one of our recordings. Which, we don't do that. We just don't do that. So I, I think I'll summarize this with... We get the power of this performance, but we just find the subject material so repulsive we can't stand it. So I'll give you a, I'll give you all a challenge. Give us another song by this lady, by this band, because it's Sugarland, right? Mm-hmm. That is as powerful with a better subject material. That doesn't make us want to throw the laptop smash. out the window. Yeah. 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 Good challenge. Challenge. Can you accept our challenge? T- tell me what you think about this blade and it's bow. It's fucking man. good, man. Like, this is good. Uh, to whoever makes blade and bow, you should price this at seventeen ninety nine and not a penny more. Not a penny more. Legit, uh, uh, this punch is way above its weight class. Yeah, it does. So, uh, this is a bourbon I don't really have to think much about to break down. I, I, for me, and Dustin may disagree, but for me, this is just butter. It is so up front. It's got oak, uh-huh. and from then on, it's just straight butter. Paula Dean style butter. God, it's so good. I feel like yeah. You remember when you were like five and your your parents weren't paying attention and you got a hold of that freaking stick of warm melty butter. I just put it on my corn because I live in Indiana. Oh, I'd sneak the whole freaking bar of that stuff, man. Yeah, we just put it in our corn. <laughs> I'd eat it straight. And I'm nom, nom, nom. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, so a lot of butter for me. What do you think? Definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's got butter. It's it's butter all the way through the finish. Yeah. Um, there is up front some sweetness that's a little bit caramely. Yeah, it, it's there. Hmm. What? I'm going to break you. Okay. I really don't think I want to, though. No, I'll go for it. I, this is going to be really mean. I survived this song. I'll be all right. But this is one of your favorites. Go for it. Mm. Caramel. Buttery popcorn. Oh, no, totally. <laughs> totally. That's what I mean by buttery. It's like you, you, that... Butter you put on the big bowl of popcorn. That's what this shit tastes like. We need to do just videos of sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we need to, that guy from Police Academy. That, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah it, it, no, the, uh, I love it's Blade le- and Bow. It's legit good. And you said 50 bucks? Yeah, ish. I've seen it as low as 40. Yeah? Yeah. And they, sure. they tell you on the bottle what all the keys are. They're principles of distilling or some shit. Yeah, so, like, the five keys of Blade and Bow once hung on the front door of the iconic Stilter Weller Distillery. These heavy brass keys represent the five steps of crafting bourbon and symbolize the art of making the world's finest whiskeys. God, it even smells like pop, like movie theater popcorn. <laughs> kind of does. Now, if you like a buttery bourbon, Blade and Bow is for you. It is, even if you don't like a buttery yeah, bourbon, this is pretty damn good. This is it punches above its weight class. It truly does. Yeah, it it, it would continue to sell at a higher price unless you're Blade and Bow, seventeen ninety nine, not a penny. Not a penny more. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> really? Yeah. In what? I don't have a bottle on my shelf. Which is a little surprising to me because if he's got have, like 11 billion freaking bourbons on his shelf. He's got, it's not even a shelf, it's walls, plural. Shh. You shut your whore mouth. 
It's not oh, wrong. like it is, folks. But if you have a bourbon collection, this should be on your shelf. Yeah, your your collection truly is not complete without at least one bottle of this sitting on there. Yeah. And, and you know what? Mine's been absent un, until we made our run to Terre Haute. Mm-hmm. I, I, and it's well, been like that for over a year. And to be completely honest, I've never bought it because I can always come over here and get some. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll put a sticky note on it to remind me: do not give to Dustin. Yeah, <laughs> make him buy his own fucking bottle, <laughs> Dick. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, um, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, you're the fans we're looking for. That's true. If you got all butt hurt because we didn't like the video you didn't like, you can tell us about it in the comments. We are not going to give a shit. We'll find it amusing. Yes. Um, but those of you, I think, that have been with us for a while know our reactions are genuine. We do not tell you we like a song just because that's what you want to hear. And frankly, a lot of people that watch reaction videos, that's what they're looking for is that validation. Yeah. You're not our audience. We we really don't care about you. Right. We don't care about views. We don't care do about... Subs- there's a, There's a word for that. When you validate somebody else's, uh, I don't know, it's like self-validation. Yeah, external validation. Okay. But, uh, you know, that's not our audience. We don't care about view counts. We don't care about subscriber counts. But we do want you to give us a like, Mm -hmm. and we do want you to subscribe because we enjoy uh, interacting with you guys. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. And get into the comments. Tell us what songs we need to listen to, even if it's one that makes our blood boil like this one. Uh, Tell us what bourbons we need to drink. And if you would like to propel your song kind of in advance of the Democratic voting process, you do just like you do with uh, your your favorite congressman. You bring us a pile of... No, no. You send us a bottle of, of bourbon... Whiskey. Uh, or North American whiskey, generally. Yeah. And uh, we'll propel your song to the front. It's got to be a country song. Got to be a country song. Yep. All right. Till next time, guys. See you.